And now for a walk from Santiago del Taide to Mbasca. So we're having a change from the Thames Path. We're going up that ridge. Also, we're not in as you probably noticed. We're in uh, Tenerife. Smells very piney. And it is a pine forest. No, it's a tad hot. I certainly wouldn't like to do this in uh, summer, would you? Also, maybe you dressed in black is not a good idea. Gurkha colours. Yeah, but you haven't got the you haven't got the physical stamina of a Gurkha. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not filming that. that uh... <laughs> oh, we're not too far off. We have come to Forest Road. <sighs> do you want another rest? I could do another rest. Your view of uh, Tidy. Onward, fan upward. That's good, that's good. Remember, if it's an X, we've gone the wrong way. X back. Yeah, X means you're going to you've gone the wrong way and turn back. We've reached the top. Hey, the highest point. Just and then we follow the ridge, follow that ridge all the way across, and then eventually end up down there in Masca. Is that Masca then? Uh, yeah. Well, actually, it might be slightly around that corner. Well, oh, yes, it's either around that corner. Yeah. So, so, how do we get down? Well, we have to follow that ridge all the way along and go round the back of that ridge, circum circle to the left, and come down. But we're on the highest point now, so it's downhill all the way. All down to the left. We have to sort of keep straight. Even though it's very seductive, don't go left. Yeah. You're like a mermaid on a rock for the old sailors. Yeah. It's flat, it's good, it's flat. I like flat. Well big these dandelions. The views are just fantastic. This is a rain harvester. I suppose that's what you could call it, isn't it? Catches the one. Yeah, um, it catches the rain, or catches the cloud droplets, and then you have water. That's clever. So yeah, so so this is the threshing circle and ruined house. Now this was mentioned in the guide, 
So I'm really not sure where the um, the do not descend left was by back there. Oh look, San Diego del Tide. Now 56. Um, what's this way? Uh, Puno de Teno. I think we need the 51. Yeah. So we've come from all the way up there. Pity it wasn't that leisurely going up. <laughs> right. Yeah, well it does, it gets fog, not rain. Oh, this is nice. It's going through um, the forest. Well, cool. it's cool at least. I like this. It's cool. We're coming out of the woods. Ooh, is the review over here? Oh, there's a view. More hills. Now. I think it's a better view if I go over there. There's a view that way. In fact, there's too many views to actually look at, isn't there? I knew they'd be looking at a better view. Because there's Masca. That's Masca. You reckon that's Masca? Yeah, because... So there's the gorge up the left. Yeah, there. that's the Masca gorge there. And then... That... Is the outskirts of Masca. Here are the Tenerife bellflowers. Which are at the end of the season because they only really come out in uh, February. And as we're walking this in March, we'll be right at the end of it. When we get to Masca, it's going to be interesting to see how busy it is because last time we went it was the Masca Gorge, now it's shut. Uh, so it should be less people. Not far off. So, uh, downward stretch and a cup of tea. Yeah, salvation. on the path. There's somebody from the cafe here. But we've got a cafe down there. Yeah, on the final leg, Masca, and we've got an hour before the buzz. Oh, I can see a tea shop. 
Looks like I see two tea shops. Oh, it's really quiet, isn't it? I mean, it wasn't like this last time we came. Good, actually. Not good for business, but... But it's to put something nicer back into the village. Like tranquility. <laughs> 